Hi guys and ladies, I made fish topped with crab meat before, but it was a bit elaborate. Well, I found a very simple crab meat recipe that looks just as yummy and it ought to go with bluegill. So I picked up everything I need for this. Uh, uh, except, well, you know what? The bluegill. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. We've had a week with temperatures in the 90s. The lake is like bath water. If we expect to catch a bluegill, it's going to be deep where the water is cooler. So let's start out using a fun rig that goes deep. A slip bobber and a jig and a mealworm. <laughs> let's see if this works. up a good fight. There you go. All right. <laughs> a perfect fish. Perfect for my recipe in the eight inch category. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. All right. He was really, really deep. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's a beauty. Look at the colors. I'd like to show you real quickly what I've got here. You see that little red thing on the line? That's called a bobber stopper. The line just twists around there one time and friction keeps it from going very far. And when the bead hits that, the bait no longer can sink. I'll show you the rest. And look, and there's the bait. <laughs> it's simply a jig with a mealworm. It's only gonna go down three and a half feet. I've got it set for that. Oh, it's too small. Oh, no, it's not small at all. I said, it's too small. No, it isn't. Didn't fight very hard. Come on, guy. It only went down a little. But it went down. Ooh. <laughs> it's a pretty one. Oh, I'm so happy. It had been a while, yes. Here's how to grab a bluegill. You start at the head where there are no spines, no dorsal fins to kill you. And then you just clamp down and slide your hand down. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, it's a big one. Ooh, I needed this. It's getting dark. It's raining a little dark. But look. It's a nice big one. Look at the funny color. It's gold. Another one of those gold digger fish. Just for fun, I'm going to try just a jig and a mealworm. No fancy bobber stuff. I'll let it fall into the deeper water though. I'll give it an extra second or two. Let it go. Uh huh. Ha <laughs> ha! 
It works. Oh, 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 you don't need a fancy bobber. Look at this size. Look at the size of this guy. That's enough. We collected eight nice bluegill for our recipe. So let's get back in the house and fillet our finny friends. And tomorrow we'll make bluegill with a creamy crab topping. Either I miscounted or a bluegill escaped the wire basket prison, but I only found seven of them in the sink last night. But that's okay. I still have, looky here, a pound and a quarter of these nice bluegill fillets, and that's plenty for our bluegill with creamy crab meat topping. But first, let's make a quickie low carb side. In this big bowl, I've got about two pounds of cauliflower florets. Well, minus about a half a pound of crumbs that fell out. Now look, extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put two or three tablespoons of that in there, and then I'm going to stir. Now goes in a whole teaspoon of smoked paprika. Paprika doesn't have that much taste. I'm going to add a little bit more. Here's three quarters teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Here's a half teaspoon each of cumin and turmeric. I have a hard time pronouncing that. Turmeric, turmeric. Here's less than a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now we simply stir this for like two and a half hours. All I'm doing now is laying these out in a baking sheet. I'm putting our roly-poly nuggets in a 450 oven for about 25 minutes. I'm only halfway through the cooking, but I'm going to try to turn some of these over, the bigger ones. I can smell the cumin. Now it's back in the oven for, let's say, 12 minutes and 42 seconds. It's about that time. Let's see what we've got. It looks good. It smells good. Let's do a couple more things to it. I've got over a tablespoon of lemon juice here. While our little guys are still warm, I'm going to dump this goat cheese over it. The goat cheese is not in the recipe, but I ordered this once in a restaurant. It was absolutely delicious. You could use feta. Feta cheese works too. Now you could skip this if you want, or you could add parsley, but I've got like a half cup of cilantro, maybe more. I don't know how much this is. Just roughly chop it. Look how delicious that looks. Time to put this aside. It's time for our fishies. And as you see, I have them all laid out here in this uh, baking dish. And look, just like they do on television, I'm seasoning them with salt and pepper. Then it's on to our creamy crab meat topping. I'm going to dump two different kinds of crab meat into this medium bowl. I don't think there's a difference. Looks the same to me. Here's about five and a half tablespoons of mayo. I'm going to slap it in there. Now four tablespoons of olive oil. Look at this. Real Pecorino Romano cheese. Of course you could use regular Parmesan. Now I've got a teaspoon of dill weed. I'm adding a half teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. And I'm going to stir and then we're done with this mixture. You don't have to over stir this. Two hours is plenty. You knew this part was coming. All I'm going to do is like put a tablespoon or more of this yummy crab mixture on each filet. I've got them all nicely covered with crab meat. Now all I'm going to do is pop these in the oven for six minutes at 350. Partially cooking them. You know, people ask me, can I do this uh, recipe with catfish or tilapia or cod or whatever? Is the bear Catholic? Of course you can. 
while our bluegill are roasting away in the oven, I ought to tell you that the, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. Uh, well, you already know that we've been seeing each other, well, since prehistoric times. But for some reason, she doesn't seem to want to marry me. Maybe I could point out to her the, the benefits of having a husband. Oh, well. Time to get them out. They're not done now. But they look good already. I'm turning the broiler on. Now we're gonna put this pan right up under the broiler. If you're from the UK, it's under the grill. Three and a half minutes. I see smoke. Oh, but don't worry, look. They're, they're gorgeous. Oh, all I have to do now is serve them up. Well, here we are once again with our lovely co-host, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for uh, joining me here at my, uh, my uh, moldy, mossy, mobile home. And you had a chance to scarf down my roasted spicy cauliflower and my creamy crap topped bluegill. And I'm eager to know what you thought. I thought they were both excellent and they went well very w together. And the, uh, mm. the crab meat and the bluegill, it was, was a good. great combination. And the uh, cauliflower was the best cauliflower I've ever had. And I know that, you know, you, you went a lot went into it, but it was yes, excellent. I, I went yes. off the script and I added cheese yes. to it. Oh, yeah. It was so good. It was very good. Thank you so much. welcome. Miss Cheeks, may I call you Lulu? Sure. Oh, thank you. Uh, you, you know our friends Leo and Lena, they've been married for ages and I happen to know that Lena gives Leo a list of chores. Leo calls it a honey-do list. Now, isn't Lena lucky? I have a do-it-myself list. Uh, what good is that? Stuff gets done. Can I have a hug? Mm -hmm.